Hi, this is Jamie Davis, the pod medic, with another segment from the MedicCast Extra video series, the EMS Pharmacology Introduction. Today we're going to be talking about pharmacokinetics in our ongoing study here. You know, we carry a lot of medications on our ambulances. We've talked about this before, and it's always important for us to understand not just what kind of scene we're going to when we get called for an emergency and understanding the tools we carry, the stretcher, the cot, the splints, the heart monitors, the other equipment we carry on our units. We also need to have a good understanding of our medications, our doses, and the physiology behind how those medications work with people. So not just do we have to understand what we do when we get the patient in the back of the ambulance, we need to understand how our medications actually work when we put them in the body. Because once we introduce a med into the body, we can't take it back. That medication is essentially on board for the duration unless we happen to have one of those few medications that we have a specific antidote for. And even those don't react immediately. So we need to be prepared to deal with side effects and dealing with understanding how these medications work in the body, and that is what we're talking about today. First off, medication administration has some key concepts surrounding it. The concept of pharmacokinetics we'll be discussing here, and there's another video in the series on pharmacodynamics. But let's look at pharmacokinetics for this particular video segment. Pharmacokinetics, I like to think of it as meds on the move. Think kinetic energy, the energy of motion. This is the concept of how medications are introduced into the body, how they are moved, absorbed in the body, and moved around the body, and then eliminated from the body. And those are the concepts surrounding pharmacokinetics. This is opposed to pharmacodynamics, where this is actual pharmacodynamics is the way medications act on a target tissue. Pharmacokinetics is merely the transport of the medication to and from that target tissue. So we talk about absorption. Different tissue types that the medication is introduced through are going to have an effect on how fast the medication is absorbed. And these are concepts like how dense is the tissue, how much fat tissue is there, uh, how much vascularity is associated with that tissue. For instance, intramuscular injections are absorbed more rapidly than subcutaneous injections. There's a lot of fat in subcutaneous injections that hangs up the fluid and doesn't allow it to be rapidly absorbed. There's also less vascularity there. Intramuscular injections go into a dense muscle tissue with lots of vascular tissue nearby, rapidly absorbed, more rapidly than subcutaneous injections. So absorption is important, and an understanding of how that process works is important as well. Distribution throughout the body is also important. Where does the absorbed tissue lie on the circulatory system, the highway throughout the body? the distribution of the medication most often will be through the circulatory system and where you are in relation to the target tissue will tell you a little bit about how fast it's going to be going into action and so you need to understand a little bit about the distribution throughout the body. Also some medications are absorbed and broken down in the bloodstream and begun to be eliminated almost immediately upon administration. This is true of adenosine. It's broken down very rapidly the minute you inject it into the body. So you need to understand the concepts of distribution. Biotransformation is the concept of taking that medication and in its inert state and transforming it into some substance that can act on the body, its active state. Also, biotransformation is how a medication is metabolized after it has been used, how it is broken down, taken and broken down into byproducts that can be eliminated. It's also important to understand that sometimes these byproducts are in themselves toxic. So we can take a medication that's beneficial and part of its process of metabolizing it, the biotransformation for elimination purposes, is going to turn it into substances that may, in high enough levels, be toxic to the body. And so sometimes these byproducts cause side effects as well. Finally, elimination. The body eliminates medications in a number of ways through the urine, via the kidneys, through the GI tract, via bile from the liver and feces from the intestines, via exhaled air when the lungs get rid of byproducts that way, and also byproducts can be excreted through the skin or through the mucous membranes and like the um, nasal tract or in tears. Uh, There are other ways that medications can be eliminated. So that's important to understand as well. 
for review real quickly, medication administration is part of that process that gets the medication into the body and then we need to understand what happens next. Pharmacokinetics is medications moving through the body as opposed to pharmacodynamics, which is medications in action on a target tissue. Pharmacokinetics includes the concepts of absorption, distribution throughout the body and for target purposes and then for elimination, biotransformation into an active form and then metabolizing it back into byproducts for elimination, and then the actual elimination of the medication from the body. Check out the next video in this series, the short video series, and it will be pharmacodynamics next on the list. Take a look at that. Also, remember, you can check out MedicCast.com for lots of other resources, free weekly podcast shows for EMS providers, news articles, education, and links are available there. And for those of you that want to take it to the next step or study for testing purposes, MedicCastExtra.com has a great subscription-based service with hundreds of extra audio, video, and PDF resources available there. Here are some of the references used in the production of this video series. As always, I provide references all the time, and so you can check those out for yourself. I'm Jamie Davis, the Pod Medic, and I want to remind all of you to remember scene safety, BSI.